DJ. Welcome to the battery shop. This 2015 Ford Fusion Hybrid has its 12 volt battery right here in the trunk, but there's a lot of stuff in the way. So before you start a job like this, we always recommend that you check the vehicle manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to be sure you're familiar with the project, you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently replace the battery in this vehicle. Here's how it's done. We are using a memory saver to keep the computer's memories alive as we replace the battery in the vehicle. The first step is to remove the fasteners for the rear trunk flashing. And remove the flashing. Next, remove the battery's access panel. Then, remove the trunk floor panel. And move the side panel out of the way. Next, with gloves and safety glasses on, loosen the fastener for the negative battery cable. And remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal. Then, loosen the fastener for the positive battery cable and remove the positive battery cable from the positive battery terminal. Next, loosen the fastener for the battery hold down strap. Then remove the fastener and disconnect the battery hold down strap. Then remove the fastener for the battery hold down plate. And remove the hold down plate. Then remove the vent tube from the side of the battery. Now we can remove the old battery from the vehicle. And install the replacement battery. Now we can reinstall the vent into the side of the battery. Make sure to check the hose for any cracking or breakage. Next, reinstall the battery hold down plate. Now we can reinstall the hold down strap. and retighten the fastener. The next step is to reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal and retighten the fastener. Then reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal. But don't pound these terminals on as this may cause internal battery damage. And retighten the fastener. Now we can reposition the side panel.
and reinstall the fasteners. Next, we will reinstall the battery access panel. Now we can reinstall the rear trunk flashing. And reinstall the fasteners. Finally, we can replace the trunk liner. And we're done.